hello you guys and welcome back to another video so today's vlog is probably gonna be just random i have a couple of things that i want to do in the closet i know it's been a minute still not done with the closet still haven't fixed the closet rack issue so it will get done eventually but i went to a couple stores and i wanted to show you guys what i got and also put some stuff up as well because we are officially in October, so I got some stuff. So from Michaels, I just got these floral arrangements. They are 50% off right now. I also know that Hobby Lobby also has great deals. So I got all three of these for $24. I like the autumn vibes that it gives. So I wanna switch that out for the entrance. Y'all see the vase right there? That is not fall vibes but i love that yearly though so we will be coming back with this later but for now i want to change it and i'm not going to remove the tags because i want to see if it would look good and if i got maybe too many so i'm going to try to see how this looks with three or if maybe i just do two i'm not good at like the floral area as far as like arranging it to look good does that look good y'all oh, no. does that look good <laughs> That does not look good. Hold on. You can always move these around and not have them so close together. I don't know if I made it worse. All right, what do y'all think about that? I feel like it looks good, but also I could see why someone would say it looks bad. I feel like it would look better without the green leaves, but that should me. So I fixed it up a little bit more and this is what it looks like from afar. Me, I'm the type that I gotta like it from every angle. So there's that angle. Okay, so that's one thing. And then from Target, I got this KitchenAid can opener because the one that I have is super cheap and every time I have to make black beans or anything that's in a can, I dread it. And it's so hard to open the can, so. Kitchen aid for the win and we love the red. It was very pricey, $20, but hopefully it works. Otherwise, I'm returning it. Let me show you guys the one that I have been using. I don't even know what brand this is, honestly. What does that say? I don't know, but look at it. Disgusting. And it looks cheap, actually, now that I look at it up close. But we have upgraded to this one, KitchenAid. Funny enough, I got KitchenAid red scissors. So, I mean, it looks like it's going to do the job. It looks easy to twist, but the real test is going to be with the can. I like how smooth and easy it moves. So, that's a good sign. And I like the rotator. Seems simple. Nice. Then, from five below, I got a bunch of things that maybe I shouldn't have gotten, but it was only because I didn't fully process everything because I was on the phone with a friend and... I don't know about you guys, but whenever you're on the phone with somebody and you're shopping, you can't fully think. I feel. So I got these bowls, these double feeder bowls for $5, and it comes with a stand as well. The reason why I got these is because of the bowls. I like the bowls. Remember I told you guys that I wanted to get some bowls for her whenever I have somebody else take care of her. Um, I don't want to use the bowls that I have at home. If you guys saw my welcoming home spider video, then you will know the bowls that I have so far. So, yeah, I wanted to get this. And for $5 and two bowls, perfect. This is what they look like up close. $5. The next thing I got, are we surprised? Look at this. Look at this. Isn't it gorgeous? It's gorgeous. Do I need more rugs? No, but this cherry, mm -mm, we cannot pass this cherry up, okay? I love it. I think I might put it under my desk, to be honest. We shall see. And this is the information of it. Then I got these glasses, maybe for Halloween. I don't know if I'm gonna dress up or not. I don't know if I'm gonna do anything for Halloween or not, but honestly, even if it's Halloween or not, listen, spicy Sophia. Gotta get some spicy glasses. And guys, when I tried these on, I was feeling myself. <laughs> I was like, okay, I like how this looks. And obviously, from my point of view, you guys look red. And it has the little horns. 
is it horns and hearts? Yeah, it's a horn heart. So very, very cute. Now, I won't lie, they do feel very cheap, but for the price, I mean, what are you expecting, you know? They're plastic, and they're $5. This should really be $2, but, you know, and it's, I guess, from the brand iRock. So, yeah. It says 100% UV protection. And how could I forget, last but not least, I got some rain boots for Spider. They're a size small. You could get medium and large. So, there was also yellow. So, you could have gotten that. Got her these little red ones. I'm trying to see. I wasn't going to be that mom and get her these. But, listen y'all. When you find that your dog gets dirty so easily. <sighs> look how small these are. Oh my god. Okay, wait. These look so funny. Hold on. Let's see. She's going to hate me. But, I wonder if... The way that it's, like, you know how we put our shoes on left and right? I wonder if I need to pay attention to left and right for her. These might be too small. These are too small, I think. Stop. Guys, these are too small. These are way too small. Ugh. Well, if I remember, then I'll return them, but... Look at how small that is. I guess spider has gotten bigger. Well, then again, this is too small, y'all. Like, this is actually too small. Who's gonna fit into this? It's too small. That's my fault, I should've paid attention. Well, if I remember, I'll return these. Otherwise, it is what it is. I actually just wanna trade them for a bigger size. Maybe a medium. We'll see. I hate returning things, so it might not happen. All right, last but not least, we got Home Goods. And this is something that I've been eyeing for a while. And I just decided, honestly, like, I want to get these. These are just so unique and different to me. Remember, I know I keep saying this, but I want color everywhere. So, this is a start. My plan with this is I will put it right here once the seasons change. These will go somewhere over here in the entrance and it would give a splash of color. I'm definitely going to get some candle, some long candles for both sticks. So also let me know if I should do white candles or should I do different color candles to make it a little more interesting. Add more color to it, you know? I have that bowl right there and the little owl. So I want to put this on top. Because Spider keeps getting into it anyway, so it's as well. I know it looks very cluttered right now, but I also bought a key holder, so that should be coming in sometime soon. I had issues with that because I ordered it from Etsy. I wanted something different than a regular standard key holder. Hold on, Pepe. Hold on, Pepe. Say hi to the camera. Why are you crying? What's wrong? What's wrong? You gotta go... You gotta go potty? Potty? You wanna go potty? Okay. Alright, I took her to the bathroom and we're back. So, got the bowl right there. Pictures, that, and the book. For the bottom, y'all, I honestly have no clue what to do. I have her food there. She has two bags. And they're very, very heavy and huge. So, debating if I should buy a thing to keep her food in. Because eventually it's gonna get annoying getting the food out of there. But for now it works. But... You know, that's not very appealing, so I don't know. Another update. Oh. Someone has the zoomies. Another update is the curtains. The curtains are finally up. And here are these curtains over here. Now, I'm not going to lie. If you guys can tell, I know that the curtains here are not the best. They're short. Also, I possibly should buy curtains for this wall right here because it looks a little off. But honestly, it's just not in the budget right now. And I don't really care because the TV is right there and those curtains will never be open. So I don't know. And the curtains in the bedroom are up as well. These curtains are a little different than the ones in the living room. If you guys can tell, these are way thicker and they actually 
black out the room at night, which I love. You can see nothing. That's where I decided to put the cherry rug. I think it looks super cute. Now, the reason why I'm here is because I need to tidy up this room and do other things in other rooms as well. But I want to start here. So, come on, girl. Let's get to cleaning together. get done there now let's tackle the kitchen because i know you see the mess behind me crazy i know that's why you guys are gonna hold me accountable let's get it done done with the kitchen i recommend that you guys play some music while you're cleaning to make it a little more fun that's what i do and it honestly flies so fast because i'll either be singing the lyrics or thinking the lyrics in my head and bam once you know it is over with another task that i really need to get done is declutter my underwear undergarment area so i've been meaning to do this for a while i'm so sick and tired of these underwears guys thing is i already know which ones they are because when I first try them on, they just don't fit right on my body, so I don't want to wear them. Okay, and then also, we might as well organize as well. I like this one. I guess I should just take everything and put it in the bed. That's easier. So I'm making a pile because I also have some shirts in here and now I have shirts in the closet as you guys know like the little tank tops I have that in the closet so should all go in the closet Alright uh, from here I'm going to speed it up because who needs to see all my underwear
whole underwear and sock drawer and I got rid of a lot. A lot of stuff in this bag. Obviously, it's not to donate. You cannot donate underwear. Don't donate underwear. I will say one thing about me. I don't know. I can't speak about anybody else but me. As I've gotten older, I don't like thongs anymore. This might be TMI, but honestly, like, if I don't share this with you guys, who will I share it with? But I just really don't like thongs, so I got rid of a lot of them. I really don't like them. I don't know. Like, it's just... Mm -mm. Nowadays, I just want comfort. I want something to cover my whole butt. That's what I like, you know? So, I will keep some of them, but I won't be reaching reaching towards them too much so i'm gonna just put them all in here and then like i have like the special socks for like low shoes if that makes sense i'll put that in there as well and then i have some shirts right here that I need to go in the closet and then those are all my socks right there these are all the underwears that i have and then these two socks i have like a missing sock pile over there by my laundry area so i'll see if these have a friend that matches or I'll just throw them away if they don't. So this is all the underwear that I like to wear but I have separated them like with different types. Like it just depends on what I'm feeling and what's going on with my body. You know what I mean? So these are my favorite ones right here. These right here, these are all from Amazon. I can't express enough how much I love them. It is linked in under my Amazon storefront so check it out. I love these so, so much. They're so comfortable and they're good and airy for your private parts. Then I have different types, different materials, cotton, um, all that good stuff. So, yeah. They don't need to be organized the best because now when I reach into my drawer, I will know that I, whatever I pick out, I will most likely wear it. But I'm still separating by different brands, I guess, just because that's, that's how I like to organize it. I was going to do color coding, but like I said, I wanted to reach for more of like the textures of it and what's going on. So that's why I decided that. And then my socks, I'm literally just going to put them in there. Just throw them in there. And that's it for this drawer. Now I want to go through my bra drawer. Again, I'm just going to take everything out. Honestly, I barely get rid of anything, I'm not gonna lie, but I will say this. Hopefully, if I don't use most of these bras or all of these bras by the end of the year, then I will start getting rid of them because you just gotta be realistic. And I did get rid of one, I don't know if you guys saw, because like I said, I'm getting older and the patterns that I used to like on bras is not the same of what I like now. So. Now that that's done, my back is killing me. So I'm gonna go ahead and use some of this Volterin. <sighs> I don't even know how I'm gonna be when I'm old because I already have severe back pain. This is supposed to soothe your back. 
And I'm aware that the bottle says arthritis pain with ulcerative colitis when it gets really bad. It has been known for patients to have arthritis in their hands, in their back. Alright you guys, and I decided this was going to be the end of this video because it was getting too long. And so what I decided was I am going to make a continuation of this video for the next video, if that makes sense. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I didn't know that I was going to cut it this short or otherwise I would have done an outro. But I like doing outros. Let you guys know that I really do appreciate you guys for sticking till the end. And with that being said, I will see you guys on my next video. Take care.